Hello, everyone. My name is Matt Ben, the director of the Harrisville Haunting, and I'm also with Jill Vitale, the executive producer of the Harrisville Haunting. Uh, we want to go over, we want to do a little response video on uh, everything that's being uh, talked about for the Harrisville Haunting in the comment section. It's mainly the comment section and reviews posted about the Harrisville Haunting. Uh, people uh, that want are thinking certain things are faked and everything, and so we're going to go over that with you guys. Um, so I don't know if you want to say anything, Joe, about this, but well, I mean, we love comments, good or bad. Yeah. You know, we, we welcome that. It can make for a great conversation as long as it's constructive, but yeah, we definitely need to go over a couple of things, address a couple of things. Yeah. And so, uh, basically there's only three things people keep commenting about the, in, in the film and, uh, we're going to go over it and, and guess what? Uh, Every single one of them is not our footage, but okay. <laughs> it's not even, let's get that out of the way. First off, it's not our footage. We're not claiming anything uh, that it's, uh, the evidence is real or anything. This isn't ours. All the stuff that we're claiming is real is the stuff we captured. That's it. Right. So I want to make that clear off the bat. So just uh, now we're going to go over some of the footage. I'm going to share my screen real quick here. Um, basically, the first one was uh, from John Huntington. This one is the one where he hears a voice down the hallway, and it does sound electronic. I'll play it out real quick. I walked through a minute ago. So if I just grab my camera, there's a car going by. Hello. Goosebumps. So basically, yeah, it, the voice does sound electronic, but as paranormal investigators, Joe and I have both heard electronic sounding voices as DVPs before. D DVPs is disembodied voice phenomena. So, uh, yes, we have heard this before. That's why we're not completely taking it out saying, yeah, this is faked. Uh, and we don't know for sure. Like I said, this isn't our evidence. So we're just what our job is as a as a documentary filmmaker is trying to present the story and people's experiences from the house. That's all we're doing right now is, is exactly right. that. This isn't our experience. This is someone else's experience there. This John Huntington is not a part of our team. And so uh, we're just going over their personal experiences and what they have to show. That's it. Right now. I had actually brought this clip to Matt's attention. I'm like, you got to check this out. I said, it does sound electronic. We both talked about it. And as Matt said, we this is something that does happen. It's very rare that it happens, but we both have captured these voices that do sound electronic. Yes. One of mine uh, was like a, it sounded like a record player going in, inside of a building back in 2012, which was weird. Uh, but, uh, and then, then Joe has heard some electronic type voice too. Actually, there's also some other situations where I wasn't recording at the time where I have heard a voice that sounded kind of like electronic. Right. Like, why did that voice sound like a walkie when when we're literally it's an abandoned place? But yes, so uh, it does happen. We believe in the paranormal, and that's why we put it in there. Because and also uh, another thing that I thought was interesting is that he got goosebumps from it. So uh, that was kind of telling to me that it's most likely uh, it's you don't you can't fake the reaction of goosebumps. Obviously, he was like, what the hell in that moment if you got goosebumps? Uh, so uh, he got chills from it. And so that's what so it kind of added a little bit of validity to me for that experience, too. Uh, and then that's the only reason why I put it in again, not our evidence. <laughs> so making that very clear, we're uh, we're not presenting it as ours and as our evidence. We're just showing his personal experience of the person that we're interviewing, John Huntington. Next one. This one, I think, is the funniest because to me, it's pretty obvious and to Joe is pretty obvious. But we got a lot of comments, a lot of comments on this one. And so uh, I'm going to go over that one, too. So next one is the sequence where this is right here. I know it's pretty pixelated, but in when you play it out. Oh, I realize you can't see my mouse. Okay, now you can. Uh, so this is what the object is. It is a radio. This right here is an antenna, not a string, an antenna. Uh, we got multiple comments 
many comments saying, oh, you use the string in this video. And first off, again, this isn't our footage. Right. Uh, this is security footage. This is uh, the DVR system from the Heisen family at the time that caught this footage, captured this footage, and they presented it to us and was like, okay, that's interesting. And so we, we put it in there. But this is a radio. And I will play it out real quick. This is the one that everyone's claiming that we faked or whatever, but it's not even our footage. Eyes are known laws of physics. And then Science always changes. So one day we it pushes over. Okay. Let's well look at this. See, you see it very clearly right there, right? What it looks like. Hold on one second. Uh, it's literally highlighted right there. Okay. There it is. And then this is the exact same radio right here. This is the radio with the big antenna. The exact same one, even in the same place. Uh, this was John Huntington doing his little uh, spear box stuff uh, on on that same, what do you call that? Ottoman. Uh, Ottoman, yeah. On the same Ottoman, and that's exactly the same one. So we're done with this one. It's an antenna, people. It's an antenna. <laughs> now. Not string. <laughs> right. Now, how did it fall over? We don't know. We're not. We never claimed a ghost or anything like that. This is other ultimately it's up for you guys to uh, make that uh, assumption or, assu or decision. Yeah, right. Uh, what you think it is that that's actually that's just how the most of the paranormal is anyway. It's just theory and and we can't find a natural explanation for something. And then we, we just present it to you of what we captured. This one isn't even what we captured. By uh, this is the funny part about all these claims against us is that we didn't capture these. <laughs> this isn't our footage. That's the thing that's so funny about it. I'm like, this is obviously presented in the documentary in a way to where we're just sharing other people's experiences at this part of the film. Okay, this isn't our footage. Next, everything else that you see us investigating, like actually start doing our own investigation. Let me exit out of this real quick. Um, so every single time, like that you see us doing the actual investigating that's our footage that is our that that rocking chair footage that's our footage and we presented it and we tried every way we could try to debunk it every single method and uh we don't have to go over that because that's pretty well done in the film i think and uh some people think it was overdone <laughs> yeah. but uh but so it, if you just watch the documentary and uh you you will go over all that and how we tried to debunk it next one this one is the uh, DR60. We have made claims about this multiple times. Joe and I, we are in agreement. We do not like DR60s. Uh, and we still uh, are saying that throughout this part of the film. We still don't like DR60s, but it had a very vocal tone to it. And we're not saying that DR60s can't capture EVPs because that's not, we don't believe that. No, of course, it's a recorder. Right. And if we can capture all of these EVPs on these other recorders, why couldn't we capture one on this one? We're not claiming that it's, oh, yeah, this DR60 is uh, is is not able to capture your piece. We never said that ever. But it had a very vocal tone. It was other someone else's experience. had It was very weird. It sounds it was very clear. clear. Very clear. It wasn't because the problem with DR60 is the audio is shit. One, literally the worst recorder I ever heard probably and when it comes to audio quality. But this one was actually very vocally clear. So that's why, like, okay, that's interesting. And then we kept it in. And uh, also another thing we want to mention, DR60s have a slow-mo feature on it. That's what he's using in this video. Uh, so you listen to it uh, right now. We'll share it. There we go. This footage right here. Are you ready, guys? Also, I want to make another statement. He was live during this. You could go on John Huntington's YouTube channel. He was like live for about, I think, 40, 50 minutes. I can't remember. Uh, he was live for a while when this was captured. And uh, uh, so you can see it live. All right, you ready, guys? That's cool. Okay, let me delete that one. Okay, recording. Who is here with us? <laughs> His reaction is funny. <laughs> <laughs> so 
just say, did I just hear what I, what I think I heard? I've been slow, so it sounds funny. <laughs> oh, something's not happy, guys. Something is not happy. <laughs> oh my god okay so that's that footage and again not ours so uh we're not claiming uh, like if you guys think he faked it or whatever that's your opinion but right. we put it in there because we thought it was very vocal and we thought it was very interesting because of how clear it was that's the only reason and it's uh, yes we do not like dr 60s we make that clear all the time so we don't use them we don't have them <laughs> Yeah. Um, what we have to do is we have to say the next documentary, Eric has a DR60. It was used, but we're going to like. Yeah. So first really, off, we're really not really be careful with that. Yeah. And, and also, Eric is not a part of my team, Paranormal Research Unit. Uh, he, he was just invited as a guest for the documentary. And uh, because he had some very interesting claims at the next documentary. We don't really need to go with that uh, for this one. We'll explain that later for the other documentary. But basically, right. uh, that is, I'm not going to present it if I don't think it's interesting. And most of the time, like if you watch, first off, let's make this clear too, guys. This film, The Harrisville Haunting, every single bit of this film has been edited live on my YouTube channel for the members. Now I made them all public as uh, an unlisted file underneath the uh, the comment section and description box of the Harrisville Haunting on YouTube. So you can watch the entire editing process of this documentary. We're not we're being completely transparent with you. And also we're we're not hiding anything. You can watch right. the entire process. And by the way, you even see me going through Eric's stuff because he likes to use lower quality recorders, which Joe and I don't like that. I have debunked 99% of all of his EVPs with his low quality recorders. Cause I cross checked it. I was like, okay, that's that, that time he had a movement. He moved around and the sound of his jacket made it sound like a whisper because it's such a low quality recorder. And I, I got it to the exact time that it happened. Cause this wasn't like one of the other recorders that only records when sound happens. It wasn't like that. So you could cross check the audio he was using because it was, uh, you start from the recording and go over the video at the same same exact time, and then when he makes some kind of movement, then all of a sudden a whispery sound because it's very low quality audio. Basically, I did, did a lot of debunking in the Harrisville haunting. There's only one EVP I couldn't debunk that he captured, and it's in the film. And so, yes, yeah, so you can see the whole process. We have nothing to hide. Watch the whole editing process. If you want to see the actual raw footage, just ask me, and I can send you the raw footage. Uh, we're hundred percent transparent paranormal research unit is. And so if you have any questions, uh, just please contact us at pru.investigations at gmail.com or devil's hour productions at gmail.com. And so, yeah. Anything else you want to say, Joe? I'll just add this, you, you know, you can go outside of PRU case files, our YouTube channels, devil's hour production and N87. And, and well, paranormal. Um, we, do live reviews for our members that too so everyone can see what is going on and when we edit well specifically me when i go to edit that stuff and put it out there if any of the members see something they're like wait a minute that's not how that went or wait a minute i didn't see that in the review they'll call me on it we're very transparent yes so uh and that's what paranormal research unit is all about the thing is, some of the people that are in our full feature films that we are discussing their stories and and going by their claims and showing what their claims were, that isn't our evidence. And we're not claiming that to be real either because we do not know because we weren't there at the time. We can't debunk it ourselves or anything like that. So those are their claims and their footage they wanted to share. And it was interesting and we don't know for sure. So that's why we presented it to you guys for you guys' own opinions. Only thing, like I said earlier, that we can say is for sure, like we can't explain because we try to do our own debunking process is that rocking chair ourselves, which is the best footage we have 
at the location actually i think are only like possible legitimate evidence to be honest because we could not find any way to do it um so there you go the harrisville haunting go check it out if you haven't you should have watched that before watching this probably but uh yeah uh thank you very much for watching and uh hope you guys have a very nice day